After spending the past four years driving around the world, I can't quite believe that our 19-year-old UK camper van Trudy has actually arrived in Thailand, somewhere we came to on holiday many years ago. But back then it took us 14 hours to fly here, and this time it's taken us years. And looking ahead, we still have a massive challenge to get home. But we're here, and although I'm sure the universe will throw us a lot more challenges to overcome on the way, we're determined to complete this around the world challenge, one step at a time. If the challenge we face doesn't scare us, then it's probably not that important. Tim Ferriss Good morning. We've had a fantastic stay here. I cannot explain how amazing it was to meet our friend. There's Trudy. I can't believe she's actually uh, arrived on Koh Lanta, where we came for our honeymoon 25 years ago. Uh, but she is. And uh, although I could stay here literally for weeks and months, it's the yeah. perfect place just to chill and work and just like relax. Um, we're on deadlines and we have to continue driving north. And in fact, today we're going to be meeting our nephew in Phuket, which is amazing. You ready to hit the road? I am. I was just thinking, you know how much we enjoy it if we end up overstaying in a place. We came here for one day and we've ended up being here for three <laughs> nights. It's been epic. I could stay longer. So we've had a fantastic stay at uh, the best house here in Koh Lanta. The owners have been so lovely and uh, really, really helped us. Yesterday we drained a bit of oil out of Trudy because there was too much in her. And uh, we also asked them if they had some hardwood um, to put on our jack uh, for when we jacked Trudy up on the jacking points. Because when we left Korea and shipped, we had to get rid of all the, uh, the natural wood. Um, so yeah. We have an amazing bit of hardwood here, so if we run into any flat tires, we're good. Before we hit the road, we just wanna give you a very quick show round of where we've been staying, because you just gotta see it. The beach is just behind this building, and it's been absolutely lovely. Somewhere to put on your holiday destination if you're looking for a nice break. That was the, uh, the room we were staying in, the first one, and the internet was super, super fast, which is amazing for us. Yeah, to get those videos uploaded for you. Yeah, if you're a digital nomad, this is definitely paradise for digital nomads. These huts here are from our friend's place uh, called Somewhere Else. And if you come just through here, you will see this amazing view. So this is the, uh, the restaurant where we've been having our meals while we're here. And uh, check out this beach. <laughs> What do you reckon of that? That's not a bad beach, isn't it? That's what you expect when you come to Thailand. A nice white sand beach, lovely blue water and blue skies. It's been absolutely amazing here. And in the evening, everybody comes out on the beach. They play volleyball. There's a bar. There's an amazing massage there. So when I came, when we arrived and I had the bad leg, I went there for a massage and uh, it's fixed my leg. It's absolutely cured so we're ready to carry on um, but before we go we need to go and say goodbye to the guys here because they've been super super cool so this is the uh, the restaurant from mr wee's family officially crazy trying to drive back to england yeah we are crazy crazy <laughs> <laughs> good crazy good, good crazy <laughs> guys yeah. we will see thank you thank next you so time <laughs> thank you and then we have a night trip on the base for you, oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and we'll be back okay, we won't girl. wait 20 years okay, <laughs> These guys are the owners of the hotel, they're running it. It's been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. And we will definitely be back. 
Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not in Trudy, but we'll definitely Maybe be back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, so lovely. I love the uh, gasoline for sale there. Look at that. Okay. It's a little bit tight round here, isn't it? Hi. <laughs> After such a warm welcome, we didn't want to leave, but we have to continue north to Bangkok to hopefully get our Chinese visa so we can continue our journey west. Well, off we go. Beautiful sunny day. It still feels so strange to be in Koh Lanta when we've come here on holiday from the UK twice before and uh, this time we've driven it uh, it just doesn't it doesn't feel right <laughs> the side of the island is definitely uh, much more busy than uh, than where we were I think where we stayed was perfect it was like a mini oasis, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So where we were on Koh Lanta, it's actually on an island. So uh, this is the bridge that gets us off the first island and then uh, takes us onto another island that we need to get a ferry to, uh, a little car ferry to get back to the mainland. All of these down here are mangroves. What a fantastic place. I'm definitely coming back here. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. Two people. Yeah. The total is 300. So it's not far. We just literally just got to go across there. Five, 10 minutes and we'll be back on the mainland. Stunning. It is stunning here. I love these little motorbike taxis. Isn't that great? Got a sidecar with seating area on. There's one, one ferry just arriving there, coming off, and one ferry just loading here. One off, one on. That's great. It's a little bit close, Marianne. That's like one inch from the lorry. He said get close. <laughs> Okay, so let's show you the plan today. This is where we've driven already. Um, this is Koh Lanta here. So the plan is we're gonna be driving around past Krabi and then going down to Phuket to meet my nephew um, and also one of my ex-work colleagues from London um, who I haven't seen for years. And then we're gonna be driving up and uh, heading up towards Bangkok. It's gonna be a good week. Okay, let the road trip begin. Okay, it's a bit, a bit of a dip, no scraping. <laughs> Trudy, you're a good girl. <laughs> we love Trudy. about Thailand it looks very very lush and green and they're just generally really quite colorful the plants are colorful the buildings have lots of blues and uh, different colors in them it's got a really lovely feel isn't it yeah it's a really How many motorbikes? <laughs> Loads! Let's 
way of transporting yourself around Thailand is by motorbike. Or Trudy. Or Trudy. All the little kids on the bikes, family are free. It's lovely. It's really nice, lovely. nice mosque there. I just love as you drive, you see all these really elaborate golden temples. They look absolutely fabulous. Got a morning market there in this little town. We're not too far from Krabi International Airport now, so in the next half an hour we'll probably uh, stop somewhere and grab some lunch. Okay, so we're going to stop for a bit of lunch. We saw this restaurant just here, so we'll give it a bash. Trudy's parked by the side of the road. Hi. Oh, this looks nice, doesn't it? Wow, that looks amazing. Some roast pork, some roast chicken. chicken, and then we've got two portions of rice. Mmm, this was a good choice. So good. Mm. Right, after that delicious lunch, north we go. It's got a lovely big way from uh, one of the shop owners as we drove past read the van. Very warm in case you're wondering at the moment it's nearly 34 degrees and climbing so uh, yes it's a bit of a challenge that's why we're not sleeping in the van. Yeah it's going back on now. <laughs> 173 kilometers to go to Phuket. We're starting to get these uh, sights of these hills covered in trees which is so uh, stereotypical to Thailand and this region. They look absolutely amazing in the distance. Just spotted a mum and her three kids on this little motorbike at the traffic lights and she saw me filming her so she started waving. How lovely is that? Massive smile. Very warm welcome here in Thailand. Okay so Waze is going to take us uh, off the highway now and uh, onto a more smaller road which should be lovely. down this uh, road there's little stands selling looks like sugarcane I'm pretty sure that's what it is here's the bridge that takes you over to Phuket if you've been following us for a while you know Trudy our van doesn't have aircon. It's 38.1 degrees in this van. It feels like it. And being in Malaysia and Thailand, it's been pretty hot. And as a result, we've stayed in a lot of hotels. Staying in so many hotels, we've had to use a lot of public Wi-Fi's. And it's the perfect place for a hacker to do their thing. This isn't just correcting my bank statement or phone bill problem again. This is a must. Now keep that tank rolling. And I'll try to cover you from this end. Go. These professional hackers can get access to your computer in a lot of different ways. Sometimes they set up fake Wi-Fi networks with the hope that you'll log into it. Can't be that simple. So whenever you're staying in a hotel, always check what the actual name of the Wi-Fi network is. One way that you can make it harder for a hacker is by using a VPN. We've been using Surfshark since we set off on our adventures. 
It basically creates an encrypted tunnel which keeps you and your data safe while you're online. It's a little bit like a thief choosing which house he's gonna rob. If he's walking down the road and sees a house with security cameras, an electric fence, an alarm system, will he pick that one? Or will he pick the neighbor next door that has no security measures? And that's exactly the message that Surfshark sends to hackers. And Surfshark is the only VPN company that allows use on an unlimited number of devices. And trust me, me and Marianne have a lot of devices. For me, it's a no brainer, but just the cost of a couple of coffees. We get to keep our bank accounts, social media, and our personal data safe. And we've managed to get you an exclusive deal. By using the code TREADTHEGLOBE, you get an extra three months completely free. To get started, simply click the link in the description below or scan the QR code. Today is the day we're gonna jump in a grab, head into, uh, into town to go and meet Jamie, my nephew. Hello. We hadn't seen Jamie since we set off four years ago. Who'd have thought that we'd actually be catching up in Phuket? He spent the past few months backpacking through Southeast Asia, and the stars finally aligned, and our paths are crossing. How you doing, mate? Good, thank you. You good? Yeah. We were excited to tell Jamie's brother Charlie that we'd managed to meet up, so gave him a quick call. We're fabulous. Okay, so we had a good time staying yeah. at this little uh, hotel here. It's been great. We uh, managed to catch up with uh, Wayne, my colleague that I used to work with in London, who treated us to the most fantastic meal at the pavilions where he works. We also met up with my, um, my nephew, Jamie. Um, we went down to the center of uh, Phuket to Patong Beach, which is a crazy place. <laughs> um, <laughs> for our last evening, we met up with Jamie and Wayne again and headed into town to experience Patong Beach, the party area of Phuket. Wow, has it changed a lot since we were here 25 years ago. The whole area is hugely developed and what was a few lively bars has turned into a long road of bright lights, loud music and tourist partying. We did manage to find a slightly calmer bar at the end of the street and headed in for a much needed drink whilst being serenaded by a live band. Okay for young people, but yeah, very crazy. And uh, now we're just gonna have some lunch at this little local place here next to the hotel before we hit the road and continue north. Hi, hello. Got the, uh, the barbecue grilling the meats there. So I've ordered a Thai curry. Marianne's ordered chicken and rice. But yeah, it's literally right next door to the little hotel we're staying in. Good food. It's very good food and it's so close. And as we have probably about a three hour drive today, maybe four hours, it will be good just to have a lunch now and then we won't be getting all hangry in the van. So there you go, we got Thai curry, chicken and rice, cutleries uh, on the table in this little pot. And Marianne carries around a sneaky little pot of her favorite Maggie sauce. In the UK you get it, it's called Maggie. In fact, I like Maggie sauce so much that I... We actually had a pet rabbit called Maggie. <laughs> mm. I love Thai curries. Spicy, coconutty, absolutely delicious. And then you get a little pot of ice and they put the bottled water on the table. You just help yourself to whichever drink you want. So we're going for the water. Bon appétit. Thank you. Okay, let's just quickly show you on the map. We are here just on the north of uh, Phuket Island. And then today, I think we're going to probably drive up this coast and park somewhere in this region here tonight. Uh, maybe we'll spend one or two days there before heading north. The building works very noisy, but it is what it is. <laughs> I think mean, Phuket generally is noisy. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. Woo, it's a bit hot in here. It's very warm today. Bye. <laughs> 
Yeah, it was a nice little uh, stay, convenient with great parking. Lynn House. But the beds as well were the loveliest, softest, like specialist beds ever. Right, it's another scorching day here in Thailand. So uh, sit back, relax. Yeah, Phuket's been quite busy. Where we stayed was actually a little bit quieter, but yeah, the main town is very, very busy down by Patong and around there. Loads of tourists. Um, Real party happening place. Yeah. Really quiet. Yeah. And uh, so we're going to try and find a little bit more nature and a bit more quiet tonight is the plan. So have you got the family of three on the motorbike with the sidecar in front? It's a very practical way. A lot of people say, you know, so many people have one motorbike, it's dangerous. But, you know, it's the uh, only mode of transport that a lot of people have over here. And that's you got to. That's all you can afford. That's all you can afford. Yeah. Wow, that uh, that's a little bit loaded up. Yeah, they're delivering trees. Look, the root system's oh, all yeah. tied up. <clears throat> Must be for a hotel or a house. Yeah, probably a new build. Oh yeah, look, there's some new residential complex. Oh, on the electric wires. There's been a lot of building here since we came twenty odd years ago. There what? There weren't any high rises. And now there's so much more concrete and buildings. Just in case you're wondering what the temperature is today in the van, it's 35.5. Our limited aircon is going, but it's uh, a little bit slow today. Lots of rubber trees there. Becoming a common sight now. Banana tree. Okay, so we just pulled up to our first garage here in Thailand and there's two types of diesel. There's the blue one there diesel and then there's the B7 diesel. So yeah, we're, we're going for the B7. Apparently it's better. <laughs> the guys are waving. Diesel. Diesel. Okay, they're filling it up for us. Thank you very much. Cap and crap. <laughs> oh, they got the screen here. Look, showing you how much it is. <laughs> okay, so the total for three quarters of a tank was 1,590 baht. So yeah, that works out to be 35 pounds. It's still a very good for price over here. Of a tank, that is very We've uh, come off Phuket Island now and uh, we're just driving through another nearby town. Roads are okay so far, aren't they? Roads are okay. We were looking for a car wash for Trudy and every time we see a sign for a jumbo wash, I'm like, yay! And then it's, it's, a, it's a, a laundry. laundry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll uh, find yeah. one, we'll she find one. She won't fit in a laundrette yet. It's a bit big. for another little town. Honestly, the electric wiring <laughs> looks like spaghetti in the sky, I think, doesn't it? I love that. <laughs> spaghetti in the sky. Okay, 200 meters turn, yeah, if you turn right. Do you know, it's funny, every time I see a pigeon, I always think it's on holiday from Trafalgar Square. It might be, Marianne, it might be. The trees is a little bit more interesting. You like the windy roads, Marianne, don't you? These are definitely my favourite kind of roads. <laughs> With trees and just the nature, it feels great. through uh, 
Cow Lock, which is uh, another beach area quieter than Phuket. I'm about an hour and a half's drive north of Phuket. Touristy, but it's much, much quieter. If you're looking for somewhere to stay, it's a little bit quieter. We're gonna go on a little bit further and just uh, try and get into the countryside a little bit. Okay, we're gonna turn left. We think we found somewhere to stay down here. down this one. This is a farm stay in amongst the palm trees. I'm excited to see some nature and see some chickens. Chickens. Harami farm stay. Let's see if there's any room at the inn. Very beautiful. It's a building uh, hand, handmade by yeah. my uh, my my home, my family. Oh, it's your family! Yeah. Amazing! Yeah. I'm love this. You got a tree. You got a tree bridge. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's fabulous. With the concept of the farm, we have to build a small room. Uh, we locate inside the farm. It's not so big. Yeah. That's right. That's lovely. Yeah. That's perfect. That's lovely. Can't come crap. Hard bed. Nice. Got aircon, fan, fridge. Oh, and a back door. Toilet shower. Toilet shower. Perfect. Back door. That's great. Oh, I miss having that. Oh, it's lovely. The pond with the ducks. Oh, the cow. <laughs> ducks are very funny because the girl ducks go <laughs> wah, wah, wah. The boy ducks. <laughs> girl ducks talk a lot. Cap from crap. And we've got pillows as well. That's great. So we ended up going with a double room with aircon. It is amazing. We've got the jackery all set up, charging there. We brought Trudy round, so she's right next to the room that we're staying. It's just a fantastic find here. This is what I like. A nice little farm stay. We just found these really cool plants by Trudy, which when you touch them, look what happens. They close up. How cool is that? We've just spotted that they're bringing up buffalo. <laughs> Are they cows? Ah, different cows. Look at those puppy ears. <laughs> oh, there's a baby. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> That is so lovely. Absolutely amazing. Oh, this place is amazing. There is actually a buffalo there, look. <laughs> there, look. Oh, they're coming. He's shy. And the lady said that she's got two buffalo, two girl buffalo, and they're pregnant. How amazing is that? Look at them. Well, what a fantastic setting. The sun is just thinking about going down. They got all the ducks there, look. Is it me or are ducks just like the most comical creature on the planet? <laughs> they're funny. Yeah, it's a great spot. They got chickens running around here. Hello, mate. Reminds us of back home with our chickens before we started the mad adventures. <sighs> Lovely. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> 
we're on the water, a little bit dehydrated today. This was a great find. Our kind of place. Fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next Sunday as we continue our adventure north.